Well, tonight we have a first look at a major project on track for downtown Milwaukee. Our Tom Durian traveled 600 miles to give us a first look at the streetcars now being built for the Milwaukee Hop. Tom is live in Brookville, Pennsylvania with the latest, Tom. Uh, Carol and Steve, just before midnight here in Brookville, the crews are not just here plowing the parking lot. We saw some people inside, the second shift workers, working on putting the finishing touch on some of the streetcars inside there. Today we spent the day inside the plant, getting to know some of the people that work here, and also getting our first look at the Milwaukee Hop. For 100 years, 80 miles outside Pittsburgh, workers at the Brookville Corporation have been building rail vehicles, metal workers, fabricators. This is American manufacturing. Yeah, at right its here. finest. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're doing our part to, uh, to keep man, uh, American manufacturing here in this country. Electricians and more make up the 300 people who work in this factory, churning out modern streetcars and restoring old cars to their past glory. This is really not a trolley. No, no, this is a, this is a modern uh, transit vehicle. Because the majority of the $128 million price tag for the Milwaukee streetcar project came in the form of federal grants, at least 70% has to be American made. Fibertech, uh, they are a uh, Wisconsin based company. But the Milwaukee streetcar, or the hop as it will initially be known, is even more local. Brookville has been working with Wisconsin manufacturers for years, including Milwaukee Composites. They manufactured and designed the subfloor for the car and sent it here for installation. And the subfloor is what everybody's standing on. You're looking through all the windows and, you know, the noses and, and skirting and shrouds and those kinds of things. And that's what makes the, the vehicle look nice. Brookville is building five vehicles for Milwaukee at a cost of nearly $4.7 million apiece, a total of nearly $23.5 million. But here at the factory, they point to the economic development along the lines already in use, like the Q line in Detroit. A recent report credits that line with $7 billion in development projects along its six and a half mile route. The economic development that has happened around that alignment in Detroit is, is just, uh, it's kind of mind blowing. Milwaukee's initial route is just over two miles long, running from the city's east side to the intermodal station. Several more routes have been proposed, but not funded. There's over a mile of this smaller wire, 16 gauge wire, just in these streetcars. First, workers need to finish building the cars. Well, we've got vehicles in multiple stages of production right now. Uh, some are very close to, to uh, being completed, final testing and those kinds of things. Then it's time for the long trip to Brew City. Put the ramp on and basically operate the vehicle up onto the trailer uh, and then they'll travel by truck. How cool is it for you when everything's put together, all the electricity's turned on and everything works? That's, a, that's one of the best feelings ever is when you can step onto the vehicle with all the lights on and here and, and just feel the doors close and sit down in the seat and feel the car smoothly roll away. And that first car is 90% completed. You'll notice that they were kind of that bland, drab, gray color in all the video that we shot inside. The one thing they didn't want to show us before the cars make their way to Milwaukee is just exactly what they'll look like. The colors they'll be painted are possibly wrapped with any sponsorship. Reporting live in Brookville, Pennsylvania tonight, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. An element of surprise. Now, the funding's made up, Tom, of federal grants, tax improvement districts. Could this money be used for anything else at all? Yeah, Carol, a, a lot of people are talking about that. In fact, I've never gotten so much talk on my social media before a story has aired as I have about this one. The money cannot be used for anything else. That $69 million in a federal grant has to be used for light rail vehicles or they'll lose it to another city. Yeah, a lot of naysayers out there. Okay, Tom, thank you very much. And you do not need to go to Pennsylvania to get a closer look at the new streetcars. You can go to TMJ4.com. We have an online photo gallery and a video tour set up for your viewing pleasure.